they might charge. Are you talking about a CEO coming into yep. the room? Yeah. Oh, um, so not all not all organisations will do it, but succession is really a good way of doing that. If you've got a succession plan within your business, then you identify that person, and that's what happened in my case. Um, when Kelly showed the initiative to do that, what you also need to do is you've got to have a strong. Um, you've got to be able to hand the job across in a good way. So you've got to be, and, and if, if you're coming into a board, you got to take strong direction from them. But really, all the information that you require to go in and step into that role, you need to be armed as much as you can, because if you're not, um, it can be really uncomfortable. And it will be uncomfortable for a while. And that can also create all, all sorts of tensions that you don't really need. So, I mean, coming into the role, it's not, it's, I think it's a, a great role to play. Um, there's a lot of responsibility with it, um, and, but it's just not, you can't take it lightly. It really is important. And um, for me, I think, yeah, what, what would be important is, is it, we're all you know, individuals with quite diverse backgrounds, so each of us would have different needs. I think it's around that needs analysis, really, uh, and one of the key things that each of us uh, need coming into the role. And um, uh, for me, it would be different to Yana, to, to, to Wayne, uh, but certainly from a non-Indigenous perspective, obviously all those things that I don't have, that's the appreciation I have and the kind of support that I need. That's definitely, um, uh, great. I'm very grateful for that. I guess to start in the recruitment phase, a lot of Indigenous people, um, in particularly women, lack confidence, not competence. So I think when you're doing recruitment, you need to keep that at the forefront of your mind. Don't just judge based on what's written in paper and a CV, but give them an opportunity to talk about um, what they know and the skills that they can bring to the business. Definitely succession planning, 100%. Um, first thing I did was call a strategic planning session with my board. I wanted to know specifically where they wanted the business to head and where I fit within that strategy. Um, that way we were both clear on what the expectations are between both of us. And if you don't know culture, that, that's nothing to be ashamed of, but try and find a culture champion or a culture mentor that can step you through the phase and the them the best people to turn to for that. Um, one of the things that, that, again, such, such great tips, I wish you were around when I was going through the recruitment process in the first place, but as an aside, um, was that having an honest and open relationship with the board as a, a, a CEO where you could actually say, you know, the things that were really, you were being challenged by and the things almost reverse engineering and coaching the board as to how they could better support you as a CEO. Um, a lot of people, or not a lot, that's a gross generalisation, but some directors have not necessarily had experience themselves with managing people or, or, or leading people. So when you're a CEO and, and you're reporting to a board who has some expectations about being very operationally involved and not necessarily fully understanding the governance role, that can be in itself, a, you know, cause a, a, a tension. I don't know whether either of you have experienced that and if you have, how you've dealt with it. Um, yeah, originally the board were very operational, but it was needed because, like I said, it was a transition period. And as we started to turn things around, we um, decreased administration costs, we um, increased program output, we um, decreased staff turnover, increased traditional owner employment. So we had a lot of wins. Once that started happening, they backed off a little bit. So um, there are times when I think that it is needed for guidance, and then there's other times when you meet your quarterly meetings. And I suppose that's part of the evolution and the board maturing too with the, with the organisation. Absolutely. Um, I, does anyone else want to make a, a comment on that? Um, we had, as I said, a lot of service providers in the room, and um, certainly there were times um, that I dealt with.